Well, an Australian computer expert has raised fresh privacy concerns for Facebook users. He's discovered the website is able to track exactly where you go on the web, even if you're not logged in to your Facebook account. It's important to be aware of its potential pitfalls. Some actions can tarnish your reputation or put your safety or privacy at risk. And our privacy and our control over who we are and how we want others to see us is disappearing. The current world we live in revolves around one thing, the internet. The internet is a vehicle for people to accomplish multitudes of tasks with such ease. Being an American and living under a constitution that is designed to protect our rights and freedoms may create a sense of immunity to consequences, especially those that come from using electronic devices. A civil liberty. We are guaranteed privacy as it's protected underneath the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment states, the right of people to be secure of their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by the oath of affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Although our privacy is protected by law, how much of our right to privacy do we unknowingly give up and use of electronic devices, the internet, or social media. To start, about 88.5% of the American population regularly accesses the internet as of 2016, which is a far greater percentage than in China, where there's only 53% of the population that uses it. The lack of internet usage by almost half the Chinese population could be attributed to many factors, but one may be the lack of privacy that Chinese citizens are granted with their internet activities. China enforces censorship, which limits and restricts things that citizens can say and access online if the materials are considered harmful or obscene. In 2020, the Chinese government will implement policies that allow the government access to data and visual surveillance of citizens with facial recognition systems. Most Americans would find these Chinese policies unsettling because of how different it is compared to the privacy freedoms that are granted in the U.S. The recent Supreme Court case, Carpenter v. United States, in June of 2018, highlights how the Fourth Amendment protects an American's internet usage. The FBI ordered that Carpenter's cell site location information be accessed in order to convict Carpenter of robbing many stores. However, Carpenter argued that obtaining his cell site location information without a warrant violated the Fourth Amendment. The Supreme Court ruled in favor 5-4 to four of Carpenter, saying individuals have a reasonable expectation of privacy in the whole of their physical movements. Riley v. California is another Supreme Court case that shows the Fourth Amendment at work. Riley was arrested and his cell phone was taken by law enforcement officers to be searched for pictures and videos indicated Riley was gang-affiliated. Riley argued that the evidence from his phone violated the Fourth Amendment since there was no warrant. The Supreme Court ruled unanimously 9-0 to zero in favor of Riley saying the officers must generally secure a warrant before conducting any cell phone searches. Americans seemingly value their privacy and want it for increased privacy when it comes to personal data on the Internet service providers. According to the National Conference of State Legislators, in 2018, almost half of the states in the U.S. have taken measures and tried to adopt legislation that restricts how Internet service providers can store and share consumer data. Despite this desire and appreciation of privacy that Americans possess, the high usage of social media and sharing one's life online seems to counteract the desire for privacy. Kim Koopman, who operates her life coaching business mainly through social media, shares her personal life, including the lives of her family, on her Instagram page. Since you run your business on social media and often display personal aspects of your life and your family's lives online, what are some concerns you have about the lack of privacy you possess as a result? I mean, putting your life on social media is one of those things that when when you do that, you kind of have to have understand why you're putting it up there. Um, I run my business as a life coach, so the idea of authenticity and vulnerability is a very big thing in what I do, and so that's been a reason why I I put personal things up. But at the same time. There are certain things you'll never see on my page um, that are going to be harmful to my kids or my family. 
Joel Niederman, who works with computer systems, speaks on cybersecurity within the U.S. It's changed significantly over the last several years because typically in the business world we would focus on consumer protections like HIPAA, health information records, or PCI, credit card data information, but that has changed significantly. So now it's not just will you get breached as a business, it's when, but the impact now is how are you protecting your data once a breach happens? Principal Urban describes how privacy is altered at a high school and how it affects the life of an average high school American. Yeah, okay. oh, great. So I said, um, with the bring your own device policy mm -hmm. in the school's social media regulations, where does the information that is gathered go? Great. So really, um, we have a network-based server that you are using yeah. um, to access um, the internet here. And so because of that, um, you know, we control that server, and that's obviously outlined in the handbook. And so if we had any reason to believe that there was misuse um, or anyone was in danger um, for any reason, then we could go in and, and search, um, you know, your activity on, on the internet or our, on our network. How do you feel protected as an American? As an American, I feel protected under the Constitution, unlike other countries that don't have the same protection. And I believe that this should continue in our country because there's a lot of gateways on the internet for people to collect information. These different perspectives show varied views on privacy in America and how it plays a role in the life of the average American. Our right to privacy is protected under the law through the Fourth Amendment. However, with current technology like easily accessible internet and social media, it's up to each of us for how much of our privacy we wish to give up.